Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you guys with a haul video on some products that I picked up online and at Walgreens. I haven't been into stores lately. I've kind of been really sick and just staying at home and hiding and all that shit. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a pretty decent size haul. I don't think it's that much. So I picked up some things from Marshall so we'll start off with that because it was very short and sweet. So I picked up a Traveler, Travelo Pure um, and this was actually gold. I have it in my purse downstairs and it has my favorite fragrance in it. My mm -mm fragrance but anyway um, this was $6.99 as you can see there and you pretty much just pump in your perfume and it fills up and you carry it with you so that's always nice so I also came across the precision blending sponge and I was told that it is very similar to the beauty blender so I picked it up it was blue and this was $4.99 I haven't tried it yet as you could see I went to Walmart and I picked up a Burt's Bee almond milk beeswax hand cream and I posted this on my Instagram and I don't know if you guys can tell I've gotten into it a little bit if you love the almond scent marzipan scent I love marzipan this is just perfection I put this on my elbows on my cuticles I love this stuff and a little goes a long way and I've used it like almost every day and I have barely like hit it I didn't use it today though but it is Burt's Bees it is about nine dollars eight or nine dollars but the fact that it lasts me so far, I've been using it for a few weeks already, and I've barely dug into it, I'm not even complaining because this would definitely be a repurchase. And it is 100% natural, so it does. So I went to Walgreens and I spotted a um, couple of their like Christmas sets, and this one is the Wet n Wild one. This is the Fergie Collection Shimmer Eye Pencil Collection, and it comes with a sharpener and four for eyeliners. These colors don't have any names on it, but there's a silver one, a gold one, and then two black ones. Now these aren't as soft as her other eyeliners, but I think it'll be good for the waterline nonetheless. So that's the gold one and then that's the silver one. I think it'll be I think it'll be really pretty for the inner corner of the eye, for the waterline, for under the lash line, just to you know accentuates the eye look okay so I picked up four of the wet n wild newer lipsticks I don't know if they're their fall collection or Halloween collection I don't know whatever so the first one I picked up has no name I lost the label but I remember it's called rosebud so rosebud it's a really pretty all-around everyday pink next color is rose to fame it's definitely more of a pink that I would gravitate towards this is more of a mauvey you can see this is a warmer pink and this is more of a mauve cool tone pink. Next color I have is Clothing Optional, which is an extreme nude. This is not a nude that I would gravitate towards. This is very peachy nude, but it is a lot lighter than I would normally wear a nude lipstick, but I have so many lip liners to darken it with that it's not even going to be a problem and the last one I picked up was coming in latte and this is kind of this kind of reminds me of the Gerard Cosmetics 1995 lipstick this is a lot warmer than the 1995 lipstick from Gerard Cosmetics but if you're looking for that kind of tone this is a lot more um, brown warm toned and this one's more cool toned. I picked up a few Jordana lip liners. I love these lip liners I have. These are colors I don't have actually. Yep, these are all colors I do not have. I picked up the color Cab Cabernet. Cabernet. All right, I'm gonna swatch these in a weird spot. Ooh, I like it. That's Cabernet. This one is Coco Loco. Coco Loco. Let's see. Yes, hunty. Yes. Very earthy brown. Coco Loco is right there. As you can see, I'm trending. This one's called Terra Kiss. These are not ones that I have already. Oh, this is perf. Ooh. This reminds me of Half Red from MAC. Oh, buddy. Yeah, the Half Red is. It's kind of similar to 1995. It's more on the purple tone, but that's not far off of it. I don't care. 
So I went to feelunique.com and I placed an order with them over 60 days ago. Uh-huh. And I'd never received my products. They actually charged me like overnight. The next day they sent me a tracking number. The products were still in stock. And then about a week or so later when I went back online to see if maybe I can place another order, um, they were out of stock of the product that I wanted. And um, I emailed them. They were like, oh, wait 35 days. Um, because it's overseas or whatever and by the time I hit day 55 I contacted them and said look I want my order I need you to expedite it ASAP because this is product that I've been waiting for so I can use and I have refrained from buying a replacement type product so that I can just use that product. It's very upsetting when you contact these people and then all of a sudden they don't say anything and then they just refund my money and I'm like whoa whoa I want my order I didn't ask you to refund anything and they're like oh our items are out of stock and I go oh well fuck I'm so upset because I am holding a conversation with this person by email they asked me to confirm my my mailing address so that they can ship me the product and within 10 minutes I have refund I have everything refunded back into my account and when I message them and say, wait a minute, I didn't ask you for a refund. Why are you refunding these products? They're like, oh, well, our items have been out of stock. Well, what the hell? Why couldn't you tell me that uh, 55 days before then? And they were like, oh, well, your, your shipment got lost in the mail, which I think that's a bunch of bullshit. But whatever, that's neither here nor there. I got my money back, but I was very inconvenienced. So I went and I found perfumina.com I don't even know how I found them but I was looking for a particular item and I ended up picking it up and it was the Garnier Micellar Water and I picked up two of these bottles because that's all they had available it removes pretty much any kind of makeup like butter um, I really do love it I love any kind of micellar water you guys have seen probably a couple of my reviews you guys know that I buy the Sephora one so I went ahead and picked up um, my favorite perfume, which is the Dolce & Gabbana L'Empedatrice. And I don't know if I butchered the shit out of it, but I probably did. And this is my favorite perfume, and it is like, I think it's available at Sephora, but I hate buying it at Sephora. And I picked up some cotton rounds. These are the White Cloud cotton rounds I got at Walmart. I picked two of those up, so that's for my Meissler waters and blah, blah, blah. So I picked up a couple of things as well that aren't sold here in the States. And one of them being the L'Oreal... I can't... I think this is their eye makeup remover and it's oil-free from the description. And then I picked up the Garnier Skin Naturals Essentials 2-in-1 eye makeup remover, I'm assuming. But look at this large size and of course it comes with the whatever oils that it comes with it it's made for sensitive skin because that's Garnier products and that's the only English word in there um, I also picked up some L'Oreal Sublime Fresh and I don't know if this is the toner I think this is the toner again I don't know <laughs> so this is the L'Oreal Sublime Soft this is the cleansing milk that I know because it, it comes like a milk and this smells so nice and clean and I'm assuming that you just put it on your face and rub it in and then wash it out and most of your makeup should be removed. I don't even care what it is. I bought it. <laughs> so I picked up the L'Oreal Dermagenesis Anti-Aging Cellular Skin Care Pore Minimizing Smoother. Holy crap, say that 10 times fast. It comes in a bottle like this and I apply this daily at night. So I also picked up the L'Oreal Youth Code Super Concentrated Serum, which I do think we sell these products in the States. I think it just comes in different packaging. So it comes with a dropper. This stuff is magnificent. I use this. I'm not even going to use the dropper. I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand. It has just a lovely soft scent and you put it on the back of your hand or put it on your skin and it instantly gets soaked in. Like it is not like an oily serum. It is a serum that gets absorbed into the skin and it makes you feel very just nice. It makes it feel nice and tight and like you're young again. So that's pretty much it for my overall haul. Most of these products were skincare which I've been paying a lot more attention to because girls getting old honey skin getting dry wrinkles are growing honey I don't even know where they are coming from but anyway this is just stuff that I've been wanting to try and I can't read the hell out of the back of these labels but it's okay I know the basics 
I know the purpose for these, so I will just enjoy them. So I hope you guys <laughs> like this video. Please thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.